Welcome back to Culture Craft. This is my modded survival series where you guys give me the ideas and I credit you very poorly, as I'm going to prove right now by showing you the comments that inspired today's episode. Look how quickly they are going. Oh no, they're gone. If you're new around here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Unless you don't want to, which is perfectly fine. Just know I don't like you. Just kidding. I don't know what I'm saying. It's a new day. It's a new dawn. And I'm feeling like a wizard, Harry. That's right. I am a wizard. It's Harry Potter themed this episode. For the start, we might actually have two themes this episode because I want to get quite a bit done today. The first thing I want to get done is some enchanting and oh boy, I'm feeling very enchanting in my Hufflepuff robes here. We're leaving the past behind us and we are moving on to the wizard lifestyle. I've got my wand at the ready. Let me see if I can do some magic quickly. Hmm, what can I perform magic on? Aha, perfect. A Vada Kedavra! Oh my gosh, it actually worked. Let me try it again. Expelliarmus! Bang. Haha, <laughs> perfect. It also killed the chicken. He had no weapon to disarm, so instead I disarmed his life. But seeing as we can't actually do any proper magic today, we're going to be doing some Minecraft magic, and that is becoming an enchanting expert. There's a few things I'm going to need for this. Some obsidian, which I believe... I might actually have, or at least I thought I had. Let me run over to my old base quickly where I still have some chests. Woo, look at me run. There we go. Anyway, I'm here now. Do I have obsidian? <gasps> One bit? Is that it? Pathetic, Joel. Pathetic. Guess it's time we finally made a diamond tool. We have some diamonds in our riches chest here, as you can see. And the first thing we're going to make, of course will be a pickaxe so we can get some obsidian. But another thing we're gonna need is some sugar cane. And I actually have basically no sugar cane right now, I'm pretty sure. So I might actually have to head out and grab a load. Or maybe I could just grow some whilst we work on our enchanting building. And I think you guys are knowing where this is going. That's right, I'm building everything from Hogwarts, the entire building. It's gonna be a 62 hour long time lapse. I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna do that. that that's ridiculous. I won't tell you what I'm building just yet. You'll have to find out a bit later, but I think you guys are gonna like it, although you've probably already seen it in the thumbnail. But we're gonna need some materials for it, and most of the materials are pretty simple. It's basically just stone and a few vines, of course, which we have growing over there. But let's plant this sugar cane just on the edge of this water here, and we'll come and farm this regularly. But there's, of course, one more thing I'm gonna need, and that is some leather. Oh, that was very close. And unfortunately, I don't know any spells that make cows magically appear, so we're gonna have to find some the old-fashioned way by bringing them back with wheat. Love having to find cows and then drag them back miles. Oh, there's some over there. What has gone on here? I don't know, and I don't care. I'm focused on murdering cows today. Oh my gosh, there's loads. Should we gather every single one? You two as well. Look guys, it's Dumbledore's army. We're here. Oh no, that's not good actually. These guys are gonna get murdered. We're not Dumbledore's army. Who, we, who are, oh, he's already gone. We are, hmm, who dies? We're Fred Weasley. No, that's mean. I'm not gonna say that. That's horrible. <laughs> oh, I feel terrible for making that joke, even if it is a fictional character. Next up, I'm gonna say Hedwig. No. Again, too soon, too soon. We'll call these guys Death Eaters, I guess. As everyone will be happy to see them slaughtered. Actually, that sounds like we're the bad guys. So, you know what? Let's just call them cows because that's what they are. Come on, Death Eaters. Oh, I did it again. Down here. It's all right. What's this? What's this in my hand? It's a Muggleborn. Do you like these Death Eaters? Do you want to... Do you want to have this muggle -born? Do you want to chase it down? I thought you did. Now I don't feel so bad slaughtering them. Wait, there's a cow there. How long has that been there? Look, he sniffed the Muggleborn. He's come down now. And you know what? I'm just going to put them in with the sheep because they are sheep, aren't they? Following Voldemort like that. Well, two of them escaped, but that's all right. We've got a load in here. You two are going to die, though. This is for Hermione. And you trying to escape, are you, Lucius? Pretending you're not a Death Eater. Too late. I'm really getting into the role play in this one, guys. Oh, no. A Dementor. Oh, thank goodness. I use my Patronus charm. Anyway, I'm going to go gather some resources now in a very quick resource gathering montage. Hit it, resource montage man. Oh, it's me. What am I talking about? Let's just go. So I suited up in my iron Hufflepuff armor and then went out mining multiple different types of resources, including some obsidian. And then I went back up to the surface where it was dark and there was a considerable amount of mobs around. And that leaves us here. I've slept. 
but there's still quite a few mobs around and also I'm pretty sure there's a zombie yep underneath out oh and a skeleton cool so we got to do a bit of clear up right now which is easier said than done when there's witches around oh you witch this is blooming umbridge if I've ever seen her isn't it look at her disgusting oh gosh it's gonna actually kill me Okay then, Umbridge strikes again. I must not tell lies. Oh my gosh, she's guarding my grave as well. I'm not sure if I actually showed this yet, but I have a gravestone mod on. So basically I can just go right click it and all my stuff reappears in my inventory. Look, yeet. Wait, do, do I break it? I can't remember. Either way, she's poisoned me. I think I might break it. There, there it is. But God, look at this blooming witch. Where's my crossbow? What the heck? She's going to kill me again. There we go. Flipping heck. What a horrible old lady. We got poison and slowness now. Let me quickly get rid of that. <laughs> oh dear. It's time to get building. And you know what? I think a perfect place would be just underneath this section here. Maybe just off this path we'll have a little bit here. As this is going to be our enchanting area. I think we should have enough resources. Probably not though. So if you see me go back for more, that's probably because I've gone back for more. But we'll give it a go anyway. Let's get building our enchanting area. So of course we are building Hagrid's hut here. I looked through all the Harry Potter style buildings and they're all quite big. Apart from Hagrid's hut, which is nice and quaint, which I think is perfect for me because I'm not very tall in real life and people often call me quaint and short and low average height when in fact I am actually average height. Okay, but I'm not that short, seriously. Okay, either way, the hut here I think ended up looking really cool. I've got Got some vines on the roof you'll see get added in a second which I think finished the look let's go decorate the inside so of course we're gonna need our enchanting table so I'll make that now we aren't doing very good on the um, bookshelves and all that because we don't even have a lot of paper or leather but either way I think this place is really quite cute it's quite hard to build such a like sort of weirdly angled build in this sort of dimensions but you know what I like it and our enchanting table should fit perfectly here is where I'm planning on having it. I'm going to have some bookshelves there and there and there, etc. It should work out quite nicely. Also, I did plant some pumpkins over here, which I'm going to place around Hagrid's house. But first, I'm going to go on a quick sugarcane slash cow killing spree. Let's make this epic. So I set out on an epic mission, but the mission soon stopped as I found this thing here. Hobbit hole? Yoink. What is all this? I don't know. But interesting. But then I set about killing horses, cows, whatever I could find that dropped leather. Mainly horses, because I hate horses. Just kidding. Although I do kind of hate them. But look, I've got some sugar cane as well. That's nice, that bit there, isn't it? Anyway, I've collected all my stuff. We're back home now. I've farmed all the sugar cane. I've killed a few more cows over there. And we have 42 leather, which should be enough, as we've already got seven bucks. We've also got a lot of sugar cane here. I'm not sure if it's enough, but I guess we'll find out. I think we should be good here. Let's make some bookshelves. Now, there are multiple colored different wood bookshelves, but I don't have any of these wood. So instead, we're just going to make some regular old bookshelves for now. Can we get level 30? Yes. I think I'm going to add a roof on this place. I've just done it out of birch here. I think it looks quite nice. And I'm going to make some chains and we're going to hang some lanterns down. Ooh, I quite like that. I quite like that. All we need now really is some storage for our lapis, which I think we do have a little bit mined up, but not a lot. Uh, 30, that's pathetic really when you think about it. I also found more pumpkins, so I'm plating these outside as well. I could turn this into a little room later on. I'm not sure what I want to use it for yet though, so I'm just going to leave it for now. But there we go. That's looking a lot nicer. We're going to do some more enchanting when we get some levels, but for now, let's just enchant this diamond pickaxe to see what we get. That was worth it, you see? Breaking free and efficiency free. Oh, wizard life is fun, but you know what? Wait, what was that noise? Did you hear that? What's happening to me? I think my polyjuice potion is wearing off. Oh no. Oh no, it's me, bro white. And I'm here to, uh, to, to do some mining. Wait, that's not right. Snow White doesn't do any of the mining. Well, this is awkward. Either way, we're gonna do some mining right now. In fact, I need a mine to be built. And this mountain over here is looking quite nice, but 
Maybe the dwarves can go mining and I'll just like stay in the house sort of thing. Uh, but I need them to build me a house as well. So that would be really good if they could, you know, like build me that house. That'd be really nice. So I'll leave the dwarves, aka Joel, to build the house. Let's 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 build the Snow White house. First, I had to go gather some materials such as red sand and also some regular old sandstone. But we got that pretty quickly thanks to this pyramid and also the red sand biome right next to us. Then we got working on Snow White's house. Now this was kind of built into the mountain. It's not in the actual movie, but I thought I'd build it into the mountain here because I thought it looked quite cool built into the mountain. And also I want it next to the mine as we're going to be using this as our storage room for all the junk and stuff that we pull out the mine like stone etc we'll have like our small storage in wally -E, but this is sort of going to be like our overflow storage and anyway we got building a mine next to it as well which i actually thought looked quite cool in the end so it turns out the dwarves ran out of time they kept saying something about it they needed to get the video finished or something like that i don't know what it means but instead they didn't actually get chance to mine so i think they're going to do that at the start of next episode for me it would definitely not be me doing this this is a role play series okay but i think the snow white house is a lovely addition to our area it's looking quite nice our area now we've got quite a few buildings popping up all over the place as well as a massive wally -E, which is kind of a bit out of place these all kind of fit in the same world that definitely doesn't but inside at the moment we don't really have a lot i use some birch flooring here not added a ceiling in yet i might add one in just here with some slabs as i'm probably only going to go that high with the chest but as you can see lots of chests and we've got some furnaces as well i need to add more furnaces in but i, I ran out of cobblestone and it keeps happening i keep running out of cobblestone which is why i need to go strip mining at some point which we're definitely going to do at the start of next episode i mean the dwarves are definitely going to do at the start of next episode wink 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 but i was just looking around quickly and i think what we could do is with a bit of a makeover of some of these little sections here because it's just grass i need to link up these paths etc so i might do that quickly and also i kind of want to go to the never next episode so if anyone can think of a theme that is never related i will definitely be heading there next episode as i want to get there get some cool stuff check out the biomes that we've got there so please if you have any suggestions for the next episode let me know in those comments let's grab some flowers quickly and plop these around our new builds a little bit oh, that's looking pretty another reason i want to go to the nether is so i can get to the end get some elytra and then fly around and discover more biomes as we've not really explored too much there's so many biomes that i haven't checked out yet Look at our area. Wow, look at that. That's looking awesome. Who would have thought it would have come together this nicely? And another few things I still need to do. Make a proper farm. Sort out some like villager trading, etc. There's still lots to do. Plus gather some more crops. Although this is looking really cute. Wow, they're all grown like this. Ooh, love it. But unfortunately, guys, that is all we've got time for for this episode. I know it was slightly Snow White themed at the end, but mainly Harry Potter themed. Thank you to everyone who suggested these two themes. I hope you like the things I have built here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe if you're new. And I shall see you another time. Goodbye. <laughs>